hi welcome you all in today's class we are going to see the calendar this is the topic we are going to see already in last class we have seen time okay we discuss about time so i just want to give a small recap one hour is equal to 16 minutes half an hour is equal to 30 minutes and one by four hour is equal to 15 minutes and three by four hour is equal to 45 minutes so this is the basic thing for time okay and also there are the clock it has it has two hand in the clock it has two hand one is a what hour and other one is a what minute and hour and is always a short hand and minute and is always a long hand so the hour and the hour and takes 12 hours to go around the clock once the hour and takes 12 hours to go okay 12 hours to go around the clock once that is called as what 12 hour okay that is the hour and takes 12 hours to go around the clock one in a day that means half a day is 12 hour means half a day half a day is completely over in a day the hour and goes around the clock twice so a day has 24 hours i'll repeat once again the hour and takes 12 hours to go around the clock once that means if the clock completely rotate 12 hours means it has considered as half a day okay next in a day the hour and goes around the clock twice means it is considered as full day a day means 24 hours that means the hour and what rotate rotated what the hour and rotated twice a time that is in a day the hour and goes around the clock twice okay generally the hour and takes 12 hours to go around the clock once that means half a day okay that is what in a day the hour and goes around the clock twice that means what a day as 24 hours okay that is what the hour and takes 12 hours to go around the clock once that is called as 12 hours completed it is considered as half a day so this is what the the same what same hour and goes around the clock twice that means what 12 plus 12 that means we can consider as what 24 hours that means one day means 24 hours i think so you understand the basic now now we are going to move on to the topic about the calendar one year is equal to 12 months one year is equal to 12 months one week is equal to 7 days one year is equal to 52 weeks one year is equal to 365 days i'll repeat one year is equal to 12 months one week is equal to 7 days first we are going to see so i'll just go through i'll just read it everything after that i'll explain it very clearly one year is equal to 12 months because now we are going to see the topic about the calendar so one year is equal to 12 months one week is equal to 7 days one year is equal to 52 weeks one year is equal to 365 days and one leap year is equal to 366 days so leap year means that is what i just want to tell you that is 366 days generally we will consider it is the february month if the days generally 28 days for feb month okay february month that is if the days february it has 29 days mean we can call it as what leap year we can call it as leap year okay so again i'll repeat one year is equal to how many months 12 months one week is equal to 7 days one year is equal to 52 weeks one year is equal to how many days this is week this is days one year is equal to 52 weeks one year is equal to 365 days and one leap year is equal to 366 days one fortnight is equal to 14 days one fortnight is equal to 14 days fortnight means that is two week will consider as one fortnight is equal to it can combine together as a 
two weeks that is what 14 days one century is equal to 100 years one century is equal to 100 years one decade is equal to just only 10 years one millennium is equal to what is this thousand thousand years one millennium is equal to thousand years i'll repeat again one year is equal to 12 months one week is equal to seven days one year is equal to 52 weeks and one year is equal to 365 days one leap year is equal to 366 days one fortnight is equal to 14 days one century is equal to 100 years one decade is equal to 10 years one millennium is equal to 1000 year so you must memorize all these things one century is equal to 100 years one decade is equal to what 10 years and one millennium is equal to 1000 years so this is I think so this is the first time you hear because you are very small children so you please memorize all this Okay, memorize very carefully. Okay, I have told you, already I have told you, we have to, what? We have to consider the days of the week and so we have to learn the days of the week and we have to learn the months of the year. First days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So, how many days in a week? There are seven days in a week. How many days in a week? There are seven. S E V E N. Otherwise, number there are seven days in a week. Okay, week. There are seven days in a week. What is this? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So all together how many days? It is 7 days. 7 days in a week. Okay, 7 days in a week. So there are 7 days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You know that very well but anyhow I will just want to remember that. Months of the year. So how many months of a year? That is there are 12 months. 12 months in a year. Right? So the first question how many? One year is equal to 12 months. So what are the months? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So these are all what 12 months. Again I will repeat January, February, March, April, May, June and July, August, September, October, November and December. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So how many months? 12 months okay and what is this look at this calendar so now what is the what what is the month may month what is what is the next month of may june so how many days for may month that is 31 days so now today what is the date what is the date that is wednesday what is the day wednesday what is the date 18 what is this 18 Today, what is the date? 18, 5, 2022. 18 is a what? Date. And this is M for month. I'll write a short form. D for date. M for month. And this is what? Y for year. So, what is this? This is the 
date okay how we are going to write the date first you must write the date then the center part what month the last one we have to mention the year so what is the date what is the month first may month what is the year 2022 and what is the date 18 and for how many days how many days for may month that is 31 days how many days for may month 31 days what is the date today 18 and what is the month may month what is the year 2022 so 18 5 2022 even you can write like this 2022 okay you must you can write like this also this is 18 is a date and d d mention what date and m mention what month and y mention year so d for date m for month and y for year okay i think so you understand next what is the next month of may june okay how many days for june month 30 days how many days for june month 30 days okay so this is the basic concepts of calendar now we are going to look at the questions about calendar 